I cannot believe that I slept in so late and that it's already afternoon, but look at this! I totally forgot how the Animal Crossing games will load up with you being able to watch over your little village or town, or in this case, our deserted island, and you can see what has been going on while you have been away. And Pierce and Ursula are walking around with adorable little leaf umbrellas, and I'm so curious why they have leaf umbrellas in compared to other types of umbrellas. And look, I see a tent. That definitely looks like the museum tent. We're going to have so much to do on this beautiful, rainy afternoon. Let's go ahead and begin and see, you know, how, how everything's been doing. It's my very... <gasps> he has a cute little umbrella, you guys. Testing, testing, test it. Hello, every. Oh, dear. So sorry about that. The volume was a little loud there. Hello, everyone. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates, going-ons, and such, hmm? This is so cute! It's my very first island-wide broadcast! I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. Now, it is only fitting that we kick off this daily ritual with a doozy of island information. The Wildberry Airport is now open for business! Yay! Oh, that's gonna be great! That means I can go and visit Chips on his island. That means that I'll be able to send postcards to people, like the patrons. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Starting today, you can use online or local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. And it means we can go to the surprise islands! Oh, you guys, I am so excited! That's not all. No, no! The airport counter now offers postal services. And just like the resident services center, the airport is open 24 hours a day, so please do drop by for a look. Oh, I do have one other item to share. And it is, it too, is a whopper, hmm? As of this very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on Wildberry. I'm so excited about that! Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study Wildberry. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all from me. I do hope you enjoy another fine day of luxurious wildberry living. That's so fun! The airport's open, the museum's open, Tom Nook's out there giving his little announcement and his cute little mic with his cute little umbrella that has his logo on it. Oh, and it's only day two here on Wildberry. And we have mail already! Oh my gosh! Oh, from my mom! My dear Siri, whenever I see a plane, I think of you and wave at those airborne strangers with all my might. I had no idea how many flights took off each day. My arm is exhausted. Enjoy your fresh start from mom. Oh, that's so nice! Let's go ahead and put the pre- Oh, my pockets are too full. I can't put the present in my pocket. <laughs> Alright, and then we have Happy Home Academy. This is interesting. Oh, my house! I just walked out of a house! Oh my gosh! Congrats on your new home! Greetings from the Happy Home Academy! Our goal? We want to help you make your home the best that it can be. Look for more messages from us as you hone your home decorating skills. A housewarming gift is attached. You guys! It's raining. The airport's open. The museum is here. And I have a house! What is this? It has cute little bushes on either side and a green roof. What? Oh, congratulations on the construction of your new home. Here are a few tips for comfortable living. So we can turn on and off the lights. There's decorating mode. Storage! Oh, that'll be so useful to have storage. This feature lets you easily make design changes to an entire room. And storage to stash or retrieve items. When you're in your home, you can open your pockets to select furniture or other items and put them in storage. Oh my gosh, I gotta see the storage first first off, because that's just so exciting. So it looks like you have 80 storage right now. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to store like just tons and tons of things, because that would just be... That would be amazing! That would be such a fantastic thing! Because for storage! In fact, I already have some things I want to put in storage. Okay, so that's turning the lights on and off. There's multiple types of lights! That's so cute! 
Okay, and then let's see. Decorating mode? <gasps> oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? This is so much easier than it used to be. And I can just I can just move and rotate things. Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. This is absolutely amazing. Okay, and then what if I want to select multiple things? So, oh my gosh. If you want to just select like all of the clothes right over here and just scooch them to the side. And if I want to just rotate this, and, like put the little shoesies right in front of my little outfit here or like right in the corner. This is so much easier than picking things up. I was getting ready to like pick things up and drag them around. Are you kidding me? This is fantastic. Here, I can even move my little cot. I should get a new bed, a nice comfy new bed. And then I have like a little electronic corner. Let's put this next to the bed. And we'll put the switch next to the bed just to be like, yeah, I know what I'm doing every night. I'm playing switch before I go to sleep. All right, so that's really, really cool. Like you can also, oh, the butterfly fish model. I want to put it on the wall. Oh, that's what we got. This is so cool. Look at the different spots you can put it on the wall. This is amazing. Okay, that's really exciting. Uh, and then I can rotate the camera to look at a few things. So you can go to the wall. What's this? Wow. I can rotate the whole room to get a good view of what's going on. I love that you can just pick up the things straight out of your pockets. I was gonna give that director's chair to Chips. Uh, I still have to like figure out how to visit him. So for now, I can grab the director's chair from my pocket, toss it on the ground and store it for one thing. Uh, the climbing wall, ditto. I wanna just go ahead and I wanna store the climbing wall. It just disappears into my storage. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. This cute school desk I got. Oh, I'll keep that out so that I can say that I'm like doing research. Here, this is my tablet that I'm doing research on. It's totally, totally, come on. I, I mean, I play video games for a living. So of course that's research. And I guess I could grab the director's chair out of storage actually. Um, if I do this, oh, look, and you can actually see what they are instead of just having to read the description. Look at this! This is so cool! Okay, and then what if I want... There's the... with the lights on and off. And... Now I'm done. That was so much easier than it has ever been to be able to store and move and decorate a house. I am quite legitimately mildly in shock right now. Uh, if I drop a giant clam, curses, I really wanted the giant clams to kind of like look like a giant clam. I have some cute moths, but I don't really want to keep any of these particular plants. So, oh, and we got the axe last night too. It has been a busy day, guys. So busy. Yes, yes. Also, I want to put on these shoes because, you know, it's raining outside today. So let's wear these. I wish I had a little set of rain boots, but alas, I do not. All right, so new house, amazing. I can't wait to expand it. That's gonna be awesome. And now let's go ahead and uh, let's go. Look, my flowers are starting to come up. Oh, wow. We're gonna have to plant flowers every day if we can, but let's not joke around. I know where I want to be now. I want to be over here visiting with blathers. Okay, before we go in, we should probably take a picture. This is a monumental moment. Like, adding in the museums is absolutely one of the most essential and favorite parts I have ever done in all Animal Crossings ever. So I feel like it's only appropriate that we, like, celebrate the moment with some good pictures. Um, let's see. Maybe like this. And then, whoops, no, no, no. I want another picture. And we'll check our Nook Miles in just a little bit. Alright, I mean, this is, this is quite a very important... Very important time for me. All right, let's see. Dramatic film, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cute. 
You could really just fall in love with playing with the filters. Oh, look, I'm a level archaeologist. Okay, that should be good. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Deep breaths. We're going to beat the man himself. Oh, this is very exciting. I can't believe it's only day two. <gasps> this place is so cute. Blathers, please. I just, I just want to like live here. I beg of you. Can, can, do you want my house? I'll take your tent if, if I can have like, if you want my house, I will, I will totally switch. I would be happier with your tent. Who? Oh, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I am exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Ah, could it be that you are Siri, the personage who chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. I love him. Now, regarding the aforementioned research. Truth be told, I am determined to open a, a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures, as well as those you gave Tom Nook, in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display. Now that is another matter. Which is where you come in, Hoot Hoot. Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. Oh! As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. Oh, he's gonna get us to the other side, guys! Oh, I've never seen Blathers with the cute little heart emote. Oh, be still my heart. I think he's gonna get us to the other side so we can actually get the fossils. I would bet my pen feathers that this primitive plot is flush with fossils I require. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say. Who, silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entire deserted island. <laughs> I love him. Pardon me, Siri, while I transmit the vital data to your nook phone. We're exchanging numbers! This is so cute! <laughs> There, you see, with wood gathered from wildberry, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo. I love him. This is just a happy moment. In Blather's tent, surrounded by expedition research items, curiosity manifest into action, and being able to see him happy on a rainy afternoon like this. I sent the DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, Siri, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on far too long, but let me leave this with you. you leave you with this. If I am to open a museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more, to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. You bet I will! You guys! This is so exciting! Please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. I am here to help! Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and make a donation. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? Alright, let's go ahead. We have a common butterfly that he would actually take in our pocket right now. A common butterfly! The whore! The repugnance! Oh my gosh, I forgot how he hates insects! <laughs> He's terrified by the butterfly! Oh, I love you, Blathers! <laughs> I beg your pardon. Bugs, I do detest them. Still, there is much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended, if you insist, that is. Uh, sure. Ah, I see. In that case, um, the common butterfly would have you believe it is but a beautiful friend flitting prettily about the flowers. Bah, I say! They may seem innocent things with their white wings, but they hide a dark side. Oh my gosh, this is just like Chips. He hates butterflies, too. Well, the hate is a very strong word. The common butterfly caterpillar is called a cabbage worm, you see, and it is a most voracious pest. The ravenous beasts chew through cabbage, broccoli, kale, and the like with devastating gusto. And my feathers, their green coloring is truly gross. A horrific hue, I say. 
Any hoot. My sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured this wretched thing will get the best of care here. I love that. 14 more donations! So happy! I am on this! I am so on this, Blathers! Alright, let's go ahead and check out our DIY. We now have the ability to make a shovel and a vaulting pole to get to the other side of the river. That's a huge freaking deal. Let's check the... Okay, so we've got our dream house! Yes! Alright. One room loner. We have now got more Nook Miles for building our dream house. That's amazing. Oh, Blathers, I shall be back in just a moment. We need to empty our pockets, you guys, so that we can bring him all of the specimens that we saved up from yesterday. Oh my gosh! What a busy day! And we've, like, just gotten started. This is amazing. Oh, they have little umbrellas. Siri, congratulations on your new home. A home is sure to open up so many new possibilities for you. You'll be wanting stylish furniture for that new home, which you could always craft as DIY projects, but... I recommend you check into the offerings from Nook Shopping. It does take a bit of time to get your order delivered, but they have a daily rotating selection of goods. That includes fashionable things that can be hard to get on an island. You can check out Nook Shopping at the Nook Shop. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. He's really cute, the way he's always like, I gotta support the family business. Have to convince everybody to shop there. Oh! And Timmy's getting trained by Tom. So you see, the number of homeowners is increasing. I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been training under me for how many years now, hmm? This is so cute! Tommy and Timmy have the responsibility of getting a shop set up for the island. This should be a piece of cake. Oh, Tom! <laughs> What's with the shock, Tom? Well, hello there, Siri. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll have a lot- I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. I mean, it is kind of nice to have gotten the house built just in time for a rainstorm. Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely change up the flooring and wallpaper. And you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more. All homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. The HAA, as we call it, uh, the HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send rewards to members whose homes achieve higher ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to... Your new home loan! That'll be... 98,000 bells, please. Okay. Ah, don't worry. You can pay it back in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD feature on the Nookstop. I think that's everything I need to tell you about homes today. But I do have a nice surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. <gasps> More surprises? What? It's a premium Miles Redemption item. A Nook Miles ticket. A Nook Miles ticket? is a special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum, hmm? We want to improve our island, but still hold on to that deserted island magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use one of these tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Yes, yes. Go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. Your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. I've left your ticket at the counter of the airport, so use it whenever the travel mood strikes. Now then, do enjoy life in your freshly built home. Indeed. This is so cool! Oh my goodness gracious! Oh my goodness, where to start? Alright, let's come over. Timmy! Timmy, I got some stuff to sell. Congratulations on your new home! I have something I would like to chat to you about, if you have a moment, that is. It's a bit of a proposal, so if now's not a good time, I understand completely. No pressure! Gosh, things are moving so fast. Sure! Very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture. Building a new shop! After all, our little island community is growing, and our needs are growing too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I'm a bit limited here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees we have a need. Ah, but here's the thing. Building materials are hard to get, 
So, can we set them aside for building a shop? I really don't see it, since we'll need these materials for residential projects. But I have an idea. Yes, yes. You can gather up materials from around the island, right? For, from the trees and rocks? Our environmental review even suggests there will be zero impact to native flora and fauna. Ah, but I'm getting off track. We'll need a lot of material for a proper shop, and we will, of course, offer compensation for your efforts. That's so cute! Thank you so much! Now, I know this is a lot, but I'll put it together a list of the items I'd like you to gather. We need 30 pieces of regular hardwood, wood, and softwood, and 30 iron nuggets. I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. They could come from this island or any other. And you can gather these materials at your own pace. Once you have a set of something, come see me. Ah, now I'm helping them build a shop. This is so cute. Okay, deep breaths. I'm so excited. I love starting from like a fresh island or or an empty area and building up something new and wonderful. Let's carry on. All right, let's go ahead. Let's sell the stuff that we've collected really quickly and see what he has for sale just real fast. Gosh, what a busy, busy day this has been already. There we go. All right, we'll go ahead and sell those for 3,000. And then I really want to take everything to Blathers today, I think should be my biggest goal. But I do want to check on what's for sale because it's a brand new day. A sleeping bag! I actually really, really, really want to get a sleeping bag. That'd be so cute. And a barbecue. Oh my gosh, that would be so useful. We've got DIY for beginners. I've already got all of the recipes. I could put down... Uh, ooh, there's actually red hyacinth bags today. And yellow tulip bags. Nice. Thank you very much, Timmy. I definitely actually want to buy a sleeping bag because I think that would be really cute. And now we need to go ahead and get our bonus miles. Nice. And then let's see what's at the shopping. Because we have a new house to decorate, right? There's a magazine, another outdoor hat, oval glasses, big star tea, rabbit tea. Oh, denim cutoffs. Those are really cute. I actually really like those. Green slip-on loafers and King KK. <laughs> That's really adorable, actually. That looks like the ancient Chinese paintings that my beloved Chips studies a lot. I think I should buy it for him. Okay, we're going to do it, guys. We're going to go ahead and place an order for that. And it will be delivered through the mail. And let's place an order for these denim cutoffs, because I think those would be good to wear. All right, that's very exciting. Okay, phew. My goodness, that's been keeping us heckin' busy. And I think we got some Nook Miles from, yeah, doing shellfish for sh selling shells. Shell grabbing shell fan, that's adorable. And then we also have shop to it buying something from the nook shop nice and eventually these nook miles that we're gathering we can use to buy even more things or go visit other islands which is amazing but we have so much to do today and not a lot of time left to do it so i think what we'll do first i'm going to i'm gonna go ahead and drop all of this wood and these rocks and things for just a minute. Okay, there's no more room to drop things, that's fine. And let's start gathering up these huge fish and getting them out of the way to take to Blathers. Because he, he really does not like the insects, so maybe if we take him the fish, it'll help first. Do I have any more room? Yeah, we've got enough room to gather more. Yay! I'm so excited we'll be able to share our specimens with him. And my little rattan chair. Uh, I'll move over here. We'll go ahead and place it down here. I'll deal with that later. We have another fish and another fish. Do I have any more room? I do. All right. Sorry, bagworm. My whole collection needs to go and come into the museum. That's where they will be safest and hopefully contribute to building up an actual museum, which would make me so happy, though I love this little tent. I wish I could just have multiples of these. Look at this cute little tent. All right, Blathers, are you ready? This is going to be pretty extreme. I would actually like to donate a lot of things. Can I donate multiple things at once? No. <laughs> All right, a carp. All right, do we want to learn about a carp really quickly? 
Okay. Do you know how to tell the difference between a cru uh, cruci cruci uh, Crucian carp and a standard issue carp? It's quite easy to tell the two apart. One must simply locate the barbels, or rather, the lack of them. And just what is a barbel, you ask? Well, a barbel looks like a little, so li a little something like a mustache. A run-of-the-mill carp will sport this unsightly facial hair, while a creation carp is considerably better groomed. I tried to grow a mustache when I was younger. It never did fill in quite right. All the best in the end is mustaches go so much better with noses than with beaks. And there you have it. Oh, that's so fun! You guys, I'm so tickled by this. Let's go ahead and donate some more. Alright, how many more things do we need to donate? Let's try the squid. I love hearing his little facts. And of course we're going to listen to those little facts because we're the pixel biology community. That's what we do. Alright, let's go ahead and learn about the squid. Well, first off, squids are members of the mollusk family, just like the octopus. Many mollusks, like snails and clams, have shells, but the squid's body is almost completely soft. Oh, I didn't realize snails and, and clams and squids and octopus were all in the same family. I think I knew that somewhere in my head, but I've never really thought snail plus equals squid family. Hmm. The exception is a long, narrow bit of hard material going through its main body, the last remnant of its shell. Of course, having your shell inside is not the best practice. Perhaps they have lost the owner's manual. Uh, oh, that's so cute. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and give him another one. Let's go ahead and you know what? I think we'll definitely wrap up today by at least getting him one fossil because he loves his fossils. I love his desk and pocket camp because his desk and pocket camp actually has like a fossil that he's just always studying. Alright, the olive flounder. Did you know that the olive flounder is the same shape as the other fish when it hatches? But as it grows, it gets both wider and flatter, and it can reach up some three feet long. What? That's longer than my nephew, because he's a baby. These flat fish spend much of their lives buried under the sandy ocean floor, waiting for prey to happen by. Imagine the surprise for said prey. When they strike, it would be as though your kitchen floor were to bite you. Oh, I love the things he has to say about them. Oh my gosh. Alright, so now we've got another one. I wonder how many more. Let's go ahead and donate another one. Uh oh, we're getting close, guys. We're getting to the bugs. Alright, what do we have here? Red snapper. Let's learn really quickly about it. Red snapper is the common name of dozens of fish species, and I wonder why it's so popular. Are there so many types of fish that have both a shade of red and a tendency to snap? Were there no other names? What about Burgery Biter, Garnet Grasper, Puce Pincher? And there you have it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think Blathers approves of that lazy naming. That's adorable. Alright, let's go ahead and... You know what? We'll give him a couple bugs and we'll save the adorable sea butterfly for last. Because maybe that will perk him up after having to explain bugs to us. Alright, let's learn really quickly about the yellow perch. The yellow perch is certainly worth squawking about. I find it a sight to behold. That jagged dorsal fin, those brilliant stripes, those glorious colors, truly a specimen. I would be quite thrilled to witness it firsthand in its natural environment. But the yellow perch's peak season is winter, I'm afraid. So very afraid of winter's biting chill. And, oh my gosh, so, bro like, I love how you learn more about blathers from all of these entries. Because... I didn't know that he doesn't like the cold, that he tried to grow a mustache out when he was younger. Like, what? That's adorable. Let's do tiger. Tiger. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, please tell me more. Tiger butterflies are known for their majestic wings, which may, which many consider to be quite beautiful. Truth be told, I find them monstrous. Those strange striped patterns, they give this owl the goosebumps. And while you may imagine the young tiger butterfly larvae look like lovely green caterpillars, it is not so. Why, when tiger, bu tiger butterflies are but babes, they're covered in unsightly white, brown, and black spots. In this way, they camouflage themselves as... as... bird droppings! Putrid pest, indeed. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I like he's, how he's like, this wretched thing can rest here. This is adorable. I can't wait to find out what Chips thinks about Blather's reaction to bugs. Alright, let's do bagworm. There we go. Hang in there, Blathers. 
Hang in there, we're almost done, and I'll get you a fossil after this. The bagworm is, in fact, not a worm at all, but a caterpillar instead. This filthy fraud uses silk and leaves to spin a cozy bag for it to hide inside, hence the name. Some find it cute the way bagworms dangle from trees, but the truth is they're gluttonous monsters. These beasts love to stuff their bug gullets full of leaves, devouring the trees as they hang upon. Wretched villains is what they are. Any hoot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. Okay, and we'll make him happy. And we'll donate the very last thing that we have. Apparently everything else we've already, like, given him. So the sea butterfly is our last offering. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your sea butterfly? Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Such mystery, such grace. Did you know that the sea butterfly's scientific name is Thekomosomata? A very rough translation of that is shell body. Indeed, this illustrious creature is related to snails. However, it reminds me of a much more it reminds me much more of an elegant feathered friend, the way it flies through the water. With such grace in flying, one shouldn't wonder if it's related to the owl. Hoo <laughs> hoo. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Alright. So that's all the donations that we have to offer him right now. So we need six more donations. Oh, you guys! That was so fun! I love his little tent. So it seems that we're actually going to need to find a few more specimens. I would have thought we found, like, everything that we could possibly give him. But apparently not. So now what we're going to do is we're going to gather up some of the hardwood from the local trees using our little axe. We're going to make a vaulting pole, and we're going to get ourselves across the river so that we'll be able to get Blathers his fossil to wrap the morning up because what a busy, amazing morning it has been. I love having the axe so we can actually start collecting these. Look at the water! Wow! Oh, we're gonna get to explore the other side. We're gonna get to explore the little island that we want to have special events on. I don't even know what kind of special event I want to start with yet. All right, let's gather this. Oh, I think we just completed another Nook Miles project, probably for Smack in the Tree. And we're gonna need a shovel and we're gonna need the vaulting pole. So how much do we need for both of those? I have seven softwood and for the DIY recipes, we're gonna need five hardwood, and I have enough for the vaulting pole. So, all right, we need three more hardwood. Let's keep going until we find it. <gasps> a snail, a snail, a snail! Guys, a snail, it's so cute, I love it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I wanna catch it. Where's my, there's my net. Oh, you guys, we've gotta get a picture with it. I need a picture with this snail. That's so cute! That's so cute! <gasps> okay, I'm gonna catch it. Oh my gosh! We caught a snail! It's not much to brag about. You know what? I think it's something to brag about. That was so cute! Because different animals will come out not only in different seasons, but also in different weather. Alright, no hardwood there. But I'm sure we'll find something. Hmm, maybe this one has too many le weeds around it. There we go. I don't know if I got hardwood from that because I couldn't see the back, but noted, I need to make sure that we have space around the trees and not too many weeds if I want to gather all my wood. Wow. I am so happy that we get to have so much time on Wildberry Island every day. Oh, another snail on a rock! Oh, that's so cute! Oh no, my axe! Ah, darn. I'll have to go make a new one. Another snail on a rock! Oh dear, oh dear, this is way too precious. Quick, quick, quick. Hold still, Timmy. Hold still. Oh, he's looking at it. Oh, Timmy, come back! Come back! No, 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 no! Ah! 
Okay, that was adorable. I'm gonna have to work faster to be able to capture those adorable little pictures, but we've got two snails we can catch. Noted, rainy days. In fact, what does the Critterpedia say about our snails? Let's find out. Critterpedia? What a busy, busy day. There he is, our little snail friend. So he's available all day long in all seasons, but it doesn't say what kind of weather might affect. Oh! <gasps> Present! Present, you guys! And I just saw a glowing golden spot in the ground. There's so much happening. What present did we just get? Snails and, oh, Aryan knit. <gasps> That's actually really cute. It's not exactly what I want to be wearing right now, but it's really cute. All right, let's remove that. And I want the special style. Let's see, where's my clovers? Nice. All right, there we go. I want to catch that other snail. Look, this is a, a spot full of bells. Pretty sure that golden spot that we'll need a shovel for. And I need to get a new axe so that we'll be able to... Oh, there's another snail! There's snails everywhere! I could just run around catching snails. This is so cute. We'll have to save one to give to Blathers. Oh my goodness. Timmy, what a busy, busy time. And while we're gathering the wood, we can gather extra wood to be able to donate to Timmy. Man, this is this is just going to be a ridiculously busy day. And we just got started. Thank you very much, Timmy. Also, I do want to actually buy a sleeping bag or two from him because I think that would be really cute. Uh, but let's go ahead and start crafting. So now we need to craft the flimsy axe. Let's do that. I should probably buy the better tools so that they'll last a little bit longer. And then let's craft the pole vaulting. Yay! Oh, I can't wait to use this. This is going to be so cool. Excellent, excellent. And now let's go and grab ourselves some more of the wood that we need. I can't believe, oh my gosh. All right, we can't be here forever ever because I know we, all, we have so much to do every day. Okay, good, hardwood. How many pieces of hardwood do I need? Five. I think I needed five. Let me double check. Can I make, <gasps> we can make the shovel now, yes. All right, onwards. Let's go ahead and make the shovel and we will get the fossil for blathers. <laughs> but what a busy day. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just amazed. I thought that like everything would be really slow the first few days, but it's not. So we might have to, I mean, we're already doing a double daily episode. You know what I mean? But I mean, with so much to do. Oof, we might have some bonuses. Well, definitely have some bonuses coming up. So <laughs> keep your eyes out, guys. We're probably going to have tons of bonus episodes, which is really great right now, considering everything's a little bit hectic in real life. And maybe this will uh, help us all unwind quite a bit more. My pole vault! All right, let's do this. I see the fossil spot. And <gasps> that was so cool! That was so cool, and now we can explore on this side, and I can go ahead and I can dig this up. You guys, it's our first fossil. It's our very first fossil. And I think I can start planting fruit, which would be fantastic. Oh boy. Oh boy. And we don't have the ability to climb yet, but there's another fossil spot hiding up there. Look at this! I can see all of the beautiful hyacinths up there, and here's an apple tree! Can I go ahead and... Let's get the apples and see if I can plant some apples near our house. Or near the museum. This is so exciting. I have so many tools. I really should try to get that tool thing. Look at that! We just pull vault into this side! Wow! This is where I wanted my house to be! Right over here! 
One day we'll see if we can move our house to this spot, but this is exactly the spot I wanted the house to be. And then according to the map, yeah, down here is kind of where I was thinking, like on top of that rise, we could build the museum. And it looks like there's more fossils that are appearing up there that we can't reach. Look at this. We can get to the other side of the beach now. <gasps> oh, oh, and did you see that? There was something that just like spurted up water here. Can I? <gasps> we got a manila clam. It can be used as fishing bait. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. What the heck? What's that? Do you guys see that? There's something over there. There's something on the rocks here. No, 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 no. Ah, I scared them away. Oh, that's my bad. We'll have to try it more carefully in the future. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't even handle this. This is just so cool. Look, we can run all the way up along the beach now. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, there's more of those things. I caught them! What'd I catch? It's a... you A wharf roach. A water-loving roach. <gasps> oh, wow. What a beautiful spot to be. And there's just sand dollars over here we can collect and sell. Oh, we're gonna have an amazing time, friends. We're just gonna have such an amazing time. All right, well, let's head back because I do want to get to the other side of the island now. I want to try planting an apple to see if that works. I want to give Blathers the fossil we found and the wharf roach and the manila clam. Oh, this is so fun. Can I vault over this, I wonder? Let's see. I really need to get the tool ring. No, you can't vault over this, but you can vault over here. Oh, hey! Hey! Ursula! What's up? I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. Ha! Huh, I knew it! Well, thanks for doing your part for Wildberry. Oh, I got an idea! If they've got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this! What's this? So I figured out how to make that shovel from the awesome collection of DIY recipes I got with my Miles. If I remember right, it's called Pretty Good Tool Recipe. So far, everything I've built from there has been super sturdy. Anyway, if you dig that shovel, go get that collection. You'll be buried in shovels in no time, Garoop. Oh, that's so nice of her! She gave us a shovel! And it's actually a normal shovel. What the heck? Thank you, Ursula! Okay, let's go ahead. Look at that. Oh, we'll have to talk with her and Pierce. I haven't seen Pierce yet today. All right, well, we've already gone on a lot for today, so let's dig up this. Check it out. It's a thousand bells! And I think what you can do while it's still glowing is you can go ahead and bury it back in the hole. <gasps> and you'll get a money tree! Oh, gosh. Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm ridiculously excited about everything right now. Uh, and I actually want to plant an apple. And I think now that we have the shovel... Yes! I can get an apple tree back where I wanted one! Oh, and I want to actually move this umbrella a little. Because I wanted to plant an apple tree over here as well. And then we'll plant an apple next to Blathers. Back here. So that we'll have a little bit of greenery back around his place again and let's turn in those items guys oh i think i hear something sometimes when you hear the wind it might be a special item oh hey tommy feel free to chat with me anytime if there's anything oh i heard it i heard it tommy that's great that's great that's really great i love you uh-huh i knew i heard it i knew i heard it you guys all right let's do this there's a present coming down from the sky. Okay, watch out, Tommy. It almost bopped him in the head. That's adorable. All right, and what did we just get from the sky? I need to be able to hold more items now. A hammock! We just got a hammock from the sky. What a morning. I love this so much. I really, really do. 
All right, well, let's turn in the things that we have gathered to blathers, my friends. What a day. We might have a bonus episode, or we might just save our, like, we might have, like, two tomorrow to kind of make up for it. Because I don't want to do things without you, but we can only do so much every day together. Tell me more about the snail. Snails are not insects, I'll admit, but they're just as revolting to me. Snails are mollusks, you see, and they are born wearing shells they cannot remove. Instead, their shells get bigger and bigger as they grow. Whew. They must get heavy, don't you know? I suppose that's why they need a trill of mucus to move about. A truly foul form of transportation. A foul. That's kind of funny coming from you, Blathers. Alright. And then let's go ahead. Sorry, Blathers. Neither of us are going to enjoy this. But I'll give you the fossil after I give you the wharf roach. And it turns out manila clams are not something that he can use. Noted. Sorry, Blathers. I do want to know more about the wharf roach. The wharf roach is an omnivore, which is merely a polite way of saying that it will eat almost anything. This skittering scavenger and its uncloth appetite helps to keep beaches clean, it said. But I dare say their long antenna and bulging eyes turn my stomach unappetizing indeed. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured this wretched thing will get the best of care here. That's so cute! <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and give him the very first fossil we've ever dug up! Ta-da! There you go, Blathers! Indeed, there can be no doubt. This is a fossil! Incredible! Wonderful! Remarkable! My intuition was impeccable! There are fossils on this island! But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Ooh! Of course, it can be but one thing. A brachio tail. Oh yay! Brachios are one of my favorites. My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. This brachio tail would be a sizable step towards opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? <laughs> okay, we'll donate it. There we go. I'd never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved brachio tail. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Brachiosaurus, whose names mean arm lizard, a woot, was one of the largest herbivorous dinosaurs. Herbivorous dinosaurs. Due to its long front legs and elongated neck, it seems to have specialized in eating plants up high. Alas, in order to support its size, it likely needed to eat more or less every waking hour. What a ferocious forger it must have been. And this is what I have to say about it. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you, and best of luck. There we go. Only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, do please bring me any fossil of unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate it is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. With this, we need three more donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I am eager to accept your, contribu your continued contributions. You guys! I love it. I love everything about it. All right, so we now have the ability to plant new fruit trees and other trees. The rain has actually cleared up, which is kind of amazing. I have managed to get myself a hammock, which really, why don't we just go ahead and like, I'm gonna be, you know, just, let's be friendly and just like leave the hammock for everybody to use. I did want a hammock yesterday. I mean, why not? Let's push the hammock over towards the, in fact, let's put it on the beach. So if people just want to come and, like, relax on the beach, why not? <laughs> Eventually I'll move the hammock somewhere else, but, like, I think this is really cool. This is so cute! There we go! Want to come and chill on the beach? There you have it! I can even bring... Oh, this is adorable. Oh, this is so adorable. I love the mirror function so much. Or, like, the camera function so much. Mirror. <laughs> Just because I'm looking at my avatar. That's so funny. Oh, wonderful. Oh, now I can catch the butterflies on the other side. I can explore. We caught some snails during the rain. I have a house. It's been an amazing day. I'm not sure if this will be all of it for today. 
And the plants are happy. They got watered extra well because of the rain. I'm not sure if this will be it for today, but if it is, my friends, thank you so much for joining us on our adventures here on Wildberry Island as we continue to explore plant money trees. We managed to, oh, let's work on gathering up more wood while I chit chat. We have our pole vaulting. We have our wonderful, wonderful new museum that we're going to be getting started. We have a little shop that we're going to be helping to build. Everything is just amazing and i am so happy to share the adventures with you guys so if you guys could do please leave a like for run no me run i was trying to get my hands on the net and it didn't happen do please leave a like for my my poor eye and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures consider subscribing but most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you back here at our beautiful Wild Berry Island tomorrow. Bye bye